it's probably the closest I've ever been if I haven't. L wow. Let me check. I'm just going to press the button. <laughs> it looks like I might be a second ahead. God. Like. All right. That's well, the, well, welcome. That's welcome the best to the Plan Made Podcast. It, yes. I need to get Mal up. Give me a minute. <laughs> welcome back to the Plan Made Podcast. I'm here with Lorenzo. <laughs> this, this, this week did something to me. I'm not prepared. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and Lorenzo, going, like, what did we watch did this we week? Watch? <laughs> um, we watched SAO. The first, well, you watched the first season. I totally didn't watch everything available. On yeah, Netflix. I don't know how you got through all of it. Already. I don't know either. <laughs> I I feel like they're like twenty five episode seasons. I don't know how oh, you got yes, through all they of it. Are. <laughs> Lorenzo, you were on the first season on like Monday. I was on. Uh, I was halfway through the first season on Monday. Oh, see, that's how did you get through all of it? <laughs> magic. Uh, magic. God. Speaking of magic, there was none in this. Well, for the first half. For the first half. For the SAO Speaking part. Of, it, how? Okay. You can't call, like, the anime SAO and then only have it for half of the first season. <laughs> what is that? What is this? It's SAO. For the first 12 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? They, they are literally only in SAO. I mean, it's two years their time. Yeah. But... They are only in SAO for twelve episodes. Okay, they're but they're still online. Of all <laughs> the entire series, every season, they're in S SAO for those twelve. Episodes. Yes. Yes. But it's kind of like how Yu-Gi-Oh didn't start out as a card game. It started out as yeah. a game game. It's a game game. Yeah, it was it was a game of games. That's why he was the king of games, not the king yeah. of a children's card game. Yeah. So it was just like that. Yeah. It was it so it started out as Sword Art Online and then they were like, Well now let's just go all online. Let's let's do everything online. Because, you know, they could have continued they could have definitely gotten an entire season out of just you know, just SAO. Just yeah. SAO. Oh, that's that's what I thought it was gonna be. I thought the first season would be SAO. <laughs> They'd get out and then go into a different game. <laughs> Boy, were we wrong. Boy, were we wrong. Um, I Where'd just remember something I have to bring up. Ah, uh, yes, I have a I few of those things. I don't know if I want to bring it up the first thing we say though. Okay, well then, <laughs> then uh. Let's see. We've already brought up the, the fact that SAO is only, like, the first half. And that was something oh, I was eventually going to bring so, up. So, m murder guilds, right? <gasps> Those were never brought back up! Oh, they are. Trust me. Oh, okay. Um, Making sure. But, so, when they leave SAO, they know the names of everyone and, like, their characters. Like, the government? Yeah. Why did they not arrest the murder guild? Because I don't think they could see inside of the game. They've committed murder. There's got to be something on record that shows they're red players, right? No. Because the game was destroyed. Fair. But so, the only knew... way was another person had to have said it. Yeah. Like, because yes. you'd think... Like, I understand that they know exactly who was in the game at any given time. But they couldn't see into the game. Because if they could have seen into the game, then they wouldn't have to describe what they've gone through. There's stuff in the second season that I won't bring up. <laughs> God damn it, um, this is why you can't watch. That deals with, with the stuff that you're saying. Mm. But, God yeah. That, there's, there's a lot of things that confuse me, like actions people took. It's like actions but, people but, took you know, me to. A lot of it's just set down to their. It's, it's humanity. They're all stupid. They're all stupid. Um, I would just like to say that I I really did enjoy this show up until I started thinking about it. Um, as you saw in our uh 
stupid things that I say. Uh, hot water irrationally pisses me off. Why? What? Yeah, I never I, asked you. I about went that. on probably it was whatever day I wrote that. I I was in the shower and I went on probably a fifteen minute rant about why Sao sucked in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I enjoyed it when I watched it all the way through. Then I got to thinking yeah. about it, and I was like, this show sucks. <laughs> no, I I really liked it. And that's not what's supposed to happen on this show. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I don't know if it was just the, the whole MMO thing, but I really liked it. Mm. I, <laughs> and I did not expect to. I really didn't. Oh god. Because as I've said before, I've watched a couple episodes years back. Years back. Years back. And I remember those episodes when I was watching them. Eh. I'm like, what problem did I have with this? <laughs> I guess I just had bad taste back then. Honestly though. Like like something I said to Nico yesterday. Mm. It's watching this anime makes me want to go watch Attack on Titan. Yes. <laughs> 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 because you said you didn't because like Attack on Titan. I didn't like Attack on Titan, but maybe I will. Maybe I've changed. <laughs> maybe you've changed um, for the better. Maybe. <laughs> God. Okay. How does the headset fry their brain as they're Microwave. as the people are trying to take it off? Uh, it's just a failsafe. That's on a lot of things. No, but he said it was whatever it was, the microwaves that go into their brain. Mm -hmm. So if you take it off fast enough... It, it has a... Because I, I, there, there's a lot of latches and stuff. Like, it's a helmet. Okay, but you saw how easy it was to get off. Yeah. It just had the little chin strap. I'm, I'm pretty sure that when you take off that chin strap, it's going to be like, okay, kill. Okay, but it didn't kill them all when they were transported to the hospital and they lost power. It has an internal battery. Yeah, but it went into, but they said all the people went into like, a, like almost sleep for seven yeah. hours or whatever. I think it's like power saving mode. I think that that was it. <laughs> okay, and then my question beyond that would be, so then like, if it ran out of power, would it still be able to kill them? I I think it would. And like, or at least put them in a comatose state. And then, like, well, then all you'd have to do is put, like, all but one person in, like, the comatose state and have that one person go do everything. Yeah, Obviously. but there's people who don't want to leave the world. That's the thing. Y yeah, there's people okay. Who Inside the game, their lives are extraordinarily better than outside the game. Yes. Even if they, there's a chance that they die. <laughs> oh, well, and I'm that has chance. just reminded me of something else. But um, what? I don't remember what it was. I started saying that sentence after I had already forgotten what it was. Good job. There was something I... Oh, yeah. Okay. Kirito never said how many times he died as a beta tester getting to floor 8. Yeah, he never... Like, because if he, he never... was going to say that he didn't die, then why the hell did it take him like a month to clear floor 1? I don't know. Also, Because he was like, oh, everyone's... I'm the furthest one forward in the beta testing as a single player. So... He should have been able to go through those eight, at least the first eight floors, by himself. Yeah. But it's never mentioned that he didn't. But it's never mentioned that he did. Yeah, so it's... <laughs> just in the air. Can we talk about the, the guy who hates beta testers for, like, no reason? At the beginning? Yes, he came back, but, then... um... Yeah, he created the art, or he was a commander in the army. He was just a bad person. Yeah, but that's understandable that he would hate the beta testers that kind of just left them all. But they didn't leave them. Yeah, they did. They No, they left and were sending back information. Correct. They were risking their lives. No, 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 no. But... They were sending information back about the beta, and they were looting all of the prime spots and not telling anyone about them. I see. 
That's fair. The problem beyond that would be, why would you be pissed at Kirito, who was helping you? Yeah. Or, I mean... I would and be why did that guy not guy. drink the damn potion? <laughs> because he felt bad. It was like, you know, I'm one of the reasons that people hate the beta testers. Like, I was trying to get that last hit thing. Hmm. And that's the only reason yeah. I was here. Yeah, and why did the beta tester not cons- Because they were obviously all fighting that thing. And Kirito knew as soon as he saw the weapon, he was like, that's a completely different weapon. Yeah. Shouldn't they have been able to look at it and be like, huh, that model looks different. <laughs> yeah, but people are stupid, as you can see in a lot of this. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> and another problem beyond that is, I think it was that last boss, the 75th boss. Mm-hmm. They couldn't teleport out of the room once they had gone into it. Yeah. But that implies that literally every other boss fight, they could have been you swinging at the thing, got to red out. health, teleported out, and healed. The I think the problem with teleporting is it's not instant. You go to a you go to a town uh-huh. first of all, and well, you go to a floor. Or yeah, do you go to a floor? Yeah, because they or, remember they you, were just saying the name of the floor and it would teleport them to that little beacon point on yeah, the floor. Yeah, but that beacon point is usually in a town. Usually in a town, in but the flower the one kind of wasn't. Yeah. But but by the time you get back, the, the boss is reset. It's still a game. Yeah, but it never said that. And then why wouldn't I'm, you just have a cycling team then? Like, that could have been how they didn't lose any people going up all those floors. Yeah. But it didn't say, oh, we would send in, like, three people. They'd fight the thing until they were weak. Then they'd all teleport out, and we'd send in the next team. And then we'd just keep cycling. Something, I think it was in the first episode, right? Mm Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, yeah, in this world, XP is, um, is limited, right? Yeah, and then it stopped being limited. It then proceeded... In the same frame, mm-hmm. showing things spawning after being killed. No. Yes. It, it was the boars. The... It showed the boars being spawned. I, I know it showed them being spawned, but I think I think that was more to say the big things. Like, there's a limited amount of XP mm. that can be gained from bigger things. But Because it's kind of like any video game. If you kill a level, you know, one monster... You're not going to get that much experience. You could just be like Goblin Slayer. And just and just grind forever on just, the level 1 monsters? Yeah. Well, yeah, well, you could I mean, that's basically what the army did. Yeah. Until they started getting that's... taxes out of people. And the army was just a bad... They were just... It wasn't bad in general. It was that... The one guy. Who just sucked. Yeah. He just sucked. And he managed to overthrow the army and just send people straight to their deaths. Shh, it's okay. And then proceed to disappear. <laughs> yes. He's probably dead. It's fine. He's probably dead. After trapping the thinker in that dungeon that appeared. Which is no. mentioned once. No. It didn't just yeah. appear. They... At every level they beat, it goes down. Yeah. So they mm-hmm. said it was always there. It's but, just, when they first went into it, there was nothing in there. And as they yeah. opened more levels. So basically, because you think about it, they're basically on that, like, not center level, but the widest layer at the top part. And that dungeon was everything below that layer. I see. So you'd think of it that way. And you're like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. And then there's the console at the bottom. Or not even at the bottom. They said that wasn't even the bottom. I know. Where the console was. No, but she summoned that console off the little square. No, but that little square is a console point. Oh. It's it's talked about in the second season. Um where you can access the, the console from there. Yeah, that's you stupid. just have to have a log. Yeah, that is the dumbest thing. Why would you have the console somewhere your players can access? Well, because they can't actually use it. Yeah. And then you'd be able to get to it. Yeah. You saw that he would but you saw that the stupid main person was able to just kind of summon Say one. things. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, it. I activate my cheat codes. Everyone's listening to the cheat codes you're activating. I'm immortal. 
Um, yeah, okay, hold up. Yeah, he was immortal during that fight. How yeah. did no one notice that? I don't know. Because like, they're not paying attention. They're in a fight. No, 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 no. Oh, during because the, the... during that boss fight, I understand. Like, the mm -hmm. boss might have still yeah, been able to hit duel. him through that. But how did no one, like, miss swing and get close to him? I don't know. Like During the duel, how did no one see that he, he obviously wasn't blocking, and then all of a sudden he was blocking? <laughs> no, like, no, 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 that was fine, because he said he wasn't cheating up until he teleported. I see. Or, not teleported, but... Uh, he stopped time, basically. Yeah, I saw that, and I was like, can't figure out how he's doing... Because I didn't 100% at that point think it was him. Yeah, I thought it... I thought it was his his divine shield or whatever. Yeah, his stupid his skill. skill activating because... At... Also, why are there no more of those skills? There's two skills. No. Dual wielding and divine shield. Well, yeah, because he said that he got one of them and that he gave to whoever was the one that was going to defeat reason. him the other one. I see. But there was other unique skills. They said something about other people having unique skills. Hmm. But that's another thing I have. Hoo hoo hoo. Stupid dual wielding. But okay, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about They literally wielding. said when they got into Elf when he got into Elfheim, all my skills are still here, except dual wielding, which is mm. all question marked out. And then he proceeds to dual wield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it was just kind of everyone can do it now. It's not an exclusive skill. But then why didn't anyone do it? Why Yeah, why does no one even try? <laughs> like, even in SAO, why don't you at least try? And then, and then the other thing on top of that, from also from Elfheim, is why even stick a goddamn door up there if you don't intend anyone to get up there? Just the hope... Yeah, but like, what if someone action. had like, what if someone had only trained their speed stat and managed to get up there, and they just kind of zipped you, past you all the enemies kind of up not there? Not supposed to. <laughs> um, like, but there was problems with it. Yeah, there's a lot of problems with it. It's just admin access, I guess. Yeah, that stupid key card that she said, I can't do anything with this, but then proceeds to absorb the powers from it and use that to open the door that shouldn't yeah. have been able to be opened. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No. Yui's just, just, just a thing. Yui's just, just there. Yui's God. Yui's just a program that's totally not part of the whole program. Okay, I... I didn't see the whole thing with... Until they started going down to the dungeon and she was following, I totally mm -hmm. didn't see that she was a program. I totally thought that she was just like a little kid that was born in SAO. Oh, so did I. I thought... Until they started bringing her down into the dungeon, then I was like, okay, no way, this is an actual person. Like, this, no way this is an actual, like, you know, yeah. child. What, could you even have a child in SAO? Probably like, not. Is that programmed? <laughs> <laughs> I man, I'd be so disappointed if it wasn't. <laughs> because I mean, yeah. D because also, it <clears throat> it might have been programmed. We would never know. But yeah, because the they didn't bring it up. I knew there was something weird when they said she didn't have a health bar. Yeah, but I kind of just thought that that was because she was born in the game. Yeah, so did I. I thought she's not an NPC, but she's also not a player. Yeah, but I was I like... I didn't think, core program. <laughs> yeah, you know, I didn't think, oh man, there's a sentient core program. <laughs> was it... Mm. Not until they went into that dungeon where I was like, okay, she has to be like an artificial creation that, that's not like an an actual child or anything. Yeah, and then she just walks out, here's this giant deletion sword. <laughs> <laughs> Control, alt, delete. <laughs> Do we want to talk about tamers? 
And how there's one in the entire game? No, there wasn't just one. Wh where else was there? there? They didn't bring anyone up, but the fact that it's a class... Uh-huh. And that other people knew what that flower did... Yeah. ...implies that there was more. There's got... Yeah, but it's... Silica is the only one. Uh, yeah, I forgot her name. <laughs> honestly. Well, she keeps reappearing now. God damn it. <laughs> like, some of the characters you would think, oh yeah, they, they won't come back. They're probably just some ex... Like, what's it called? Ex um, exposition or... Exposition characters. But no, they come back. God. Uh, I was... Okay. That That whole just range where it was like, here's a new person, and they're dead. Here's a new person. And they're gone. Here's a new person. And then they're gone. Here's Asuna. Yeah. And this is Asuna. <laughs> like, Get to know the her. whole guild. The guild he joined, right? Yes. Why'd he join them? And well, why, why not? the guild see his level? No. So the whole thing was levels didn't appear on their health bar. I see. Levels appeared only in that little stat screen. That's why the, the girl knew what his his level was. Mm. Because she looked over at night and saw it. Yeah. But you'd still think... You'd still think something's off when you have one person that's doing all this fighting for your team and you never see them leveling up. <laughs> yeah. And my other thing with that was... So Kirito must have been like... Man, I can't fight anymore. I'm like 10 experience away from leveling up. And then had to wait for Knight to go to the front lines to level himself up. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm pretty close to leveling up, guys. I can't fight right now. And then comes back the next day is already the next level. <laughs> and then and then this trap room. That what? was such a trap room. I, yeah. don't, I don't know why. It's a chest in the middle of a secret room. Like yes. a big secret room. Yes. If it was smaller, th that's fine. You know, it's just a secret chest. But the fact that it was a huge room, that's a trap. So I, I, I really, at the first, the first time I saw it before all the monsters started spawning, really thought mm. the room was going to crush them. Mm. And then I was, because I kind of thought that Kirito would be like outside of the room. And then they'd just all get crushed. And they'd get crushed, and then he'd come back in and just find all of their stuff lying there. Mm -hmm. And then when he actually went in, I was like, okay, well, where's the monsters? Or the spikes? Or something that, like, he could obviously survive because he's a higher level. So, there's there's two things I want to say. First, that room was literally... They killed off those characters, like, just to explain, oh yeah, there's rooms you can't teleport out of. But yeah. also, marriage... <laughs> Also, marriage. Marriage just like it just works. I'm I'm gonna kill this guy for his loot. Wait, he's married. It went to his wife. What? No, that wasn't what happened. Yeah, marriage. You're no. I understand that the loot is shared. Yeah, but that and... wasn't how it was. That, but that wasn't how it was shown. It wasn't shown. Oh man, I didn't get his loot because it all went to his spouse. Yeah, but that's how it's explained. Yeah, but they but they were explaining it with the whole uh the guy killing his wife to get all her loot. Yeah, but he didn't kill her. He hired the Yeah, I understand. To but... do it. You know. Um just for that ring. Just yeah. Just oh, it, it gives me some stamina. Kill no, I think wife. it was speed. Was it speed? I think I it was think speed. I think it was speed or stamina. I think um, it's, I don't remember stamina being ever an important factor. Yeah. A lot of things don't aren't important factors, though. Yeah, and, like, I never saw them, like, allocating skill points or anything. Like, oh, so did they just level... Did they all actually. just get the same basic level up? Like, everyone on the same level was basically the same? Or, like, did they have to allocate skill points? I think they allocate skill points. And if they do that, then that that implies the existence of characters they, like they would they be from... Train stats. From a uh, Bofuri? Where there's people who have just maxed out their attack and people who have just maxed out their defense. I think it's like this MMO I'm playing. Where, where you train your stat itself and the level up just gives you like health mm. and that kind of thing. It might be. Um, 
this MMO that you started playing because of this. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Also, why does he like heavy swords? He's like, oh, this sword. Because his strength stat him. was on a whole nother level. Yeah, he's a strength agility person. Yeah, so he liked the heavier swords Wait. because you, you can't swing a light sword. It's just not fun. Yeah, but at the same time, dual wielding, lighter sword equal faster. You could just make a 11 hit attack. <laughs> Ooh, the fact that that sword he made never got used. The, 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 the Dark OP Repulsor, sword? or whatever it was called. Dark Repulsor? The stupid one that he had forged for him, and then he, like, used it maybe twice. Which one was that? The, the like, the gray silvery one. I don't even remember that. So, not the black one that he had on him. Yeah, so he has the black one. He has the... It's the, the second super one. Rare, the, his dual wielding blade. Yeah, his dual wielding blade. That one. Though it's blue, not gray. It is gray. It's blue. I think it has a green gem on it, too. The the blue one that he got from the dragon's nest? Or he got the ore from the dragon's yes. nest? Yes. That's blue. It's like a very light blue, but it's blue. Okay. I'm getting very conflicting reports from Google Images. What? Oh no. It's it's either black, blue, or green. Uh, I think you may be looking in the future. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Repulsor. Uh, okay, so it's... Dark repulsor. Oh, it is like a greeny color. It's like a greeny blue. Um, thing. Because it's supposed to be that crystal color. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that sword. Yeah. He, like, never uses it except on the dual wielding. Because his elucidator is just as good, if not better, is the whole thing. Yeah, but... It's it's one of those things where it's like, you had this person nice enough to forge it for you, you might as well have used that. Well, he told her his secret. About that he could dual wield? About, about his dual wielding, yeah. Did he? Um, It said, when he explains that he has dual wielding, he's, she's like, oh, no, our secret's not our secret anymore. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. But still, could have used it. Oh, he totally could have used it. And and also, in the second game, he just kind of stole the weapon to be able to dual wield. Why didn't he, after that, just start carrying a second sword? I don't know. <laughs> because then he took it again so that he could get up to the stupid boss room. Yeah. Ooh. And then after that, <laughs> after that, as as I'm going back to SAO again with another problem I have, Asuna should be dead. Yeah, she really should be. She she should have, like, I get it. It might have been that because she died at the last second before he did it, that, like, her data was fine because it didn't kill her. And that's why she was one of the 300 that got stuck in the other game. Yeah. Well, no, that was because the one guy wanted well, her. But still, yeah. that also might have been why she didn't die. Yeah. Because he might have saved her. But still. Kimito died. Yeah, he did. And then he activated hacks mode and came back. He's just like, no, I don't want to die. <laughs> he and said, came back. no. <laughs> he said no and just slashed the guy. And then the guy died. <laughs> he didn't die for a while, though. He didn't die until Aincrad was destroyed. No, he did He did die. Did he? Yeah, after that was just his consciousness that was uploaded to the internet, remember? Because his consciousness appeared in in the, the other second game. game. But I think... Because remember when they were watching Aincrad fall? Yeah, and he was there? Yeah. But it was the, the model that was used for his floaty dude, not the avatar that appeared in the game like him and Asuna were. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I think that was... His consciousness, I think his actual person died. I see. 
At least I would think so. <laughs> Kirito joining the second game and not even checking beforehand if there's an exit button. <laughs> okay. So, so, right. The game. The so if, if he were to die, not in a fight or anyone completing the game, mm -hmm. would, would it automatically log everyone off? The main dude? Yeah, like he, the, the, the lead guy. He couldn't the, have died. The, there was no other way he could have died. If, Be because he was walking around world, a mortal. In the real world... Oh, if he would have died? If he would have died or, like, the police find him and, like, take off his nerve gear. What would have happened? I think the game would have just completed. So why didn't they spend time looking for the dude? They did spend time looking for him. Hmm. It's just they said they could never find him. I see. It's explained where he was in the second, third God season. It. God damn it. Um. He actually do, shredded right, should, his entire body. <laughs> should we talk about the um, the second game, Alfheim Online? Okay, what's your what's your problem with that? And how the girl was obviously his sister. And I'm like, come on, just say something. That yeah, no, yeah, name. I was like, just say something. There's just there's not it. much you have to say. Yeah. And how she never, like, went to check on him in his room. Like, because if she would have gone in there and seen him with the nerve gear on. Yeah. Or, or if he would have, like, actually looked in her room and looked up at the ceiling and been like, hey, that looks like the poster of the game that I had to go play to save Asuna. Yeah. <laughs> like, they would have established this problem super early on. And how did she not understand that Kirito was her brother when he said... I'm pretty sure he said something about that being his name. About his name being a, uh, uh acronym of his real name. He, he said that to her. Like, oh yeah, this... And then no one recognizing the name Kirito? Yeah, nobody recognized Someone showed up. Someone should have been like, hey, weren't you that guy who... Was that sounds like the name of the guy that was in the other game. Yeah. No one pointed because that out. Because there's got to be someone in that game that played SAO. Well, but they said that the game had been up for like a year. Mm, yeah. Like, they said... She said... um. Oh, I've been playing this game for the longest time since my brother's been gone or whatever. Like, yeah, but still. And how did the one guy, the bartender guy, get it? Right, so what? How did the bartender what? get Alfheim? I don't know. I think it's because... His wife is still in America, and they play the game to talk to each other. Yeah, but then why did he willingly give it up so easily? Oh, just give the game. Uh huh. I'm sure he bought another copy. There's, there's <laughs> okay, no way and he did. and <laughs> so that also becomes my question of how are they saving the characters? Are they just saving like the consciousness patterns? Because if he borrowed that game, shouldn't have it not have been his character? Shouldn't um, it have been the other no, guy's character? It, it's accounts. Okay. It's, it's an account. It's an account, but like, like the, as soon as Kirito logged in, he it was already Kirito. He you log in with your brain. <laughs> okay. That's but that's what I was saying, and he said no accounts because I said, or is it just linked onto a brain pattern or something? Maybe it's linked onto a brain pattern, but yeah. <laughs> because, it, and and how did how did? Okay, no, another problem I had. Why did he delete his entire inventory? Uh, because it, they were all errors, and if any like the program that's like detects errors is like, hey, this guy has so many errors on him. We should probably check into him and ban him. Like, because that, that's a symbol of hacking. Lorenzo. 
Lorenzo. What? One of his what? stats was an error. <laughs> That's also true. <laughs> I don't see your problem here. One of his stats was an error. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get how you log in with that. <laughs> well, because it, it the game is a copy of SAO. It oh. said it's an older copy of SAO. Which okay. means it, it probably grabbed from the same um, directory of accounts as SAO. Without, like, filtering items and skills. And well, stuff. no, because it said that, whatchamacallit, Yui put it in there. Put what in? Yui put his SAO stuff in there for him. Is that so? I'm pretty sure she said it said something like that. I don't think so. Because then you'd think but that I all the other people too. would get all their stuff then. Yeah, but the only other person shown is Asuna. Okay. And did Asuna keep any of her stats? It's never said that she didn't. I understand. Um, but then the guy, if the guy was actually playing it, he would have noticed it. He would have noticed all of what? his stuff. Yeah, true. There, there's there's quite a few plot holes right there. Yeah, and then um... another thing is, why, why at the end of the season was he like, I guess we can go back through SAO. But I chose to reset my character. Why? Why would you do that? Yeah. You spent two years building up those levels. Why would you do that? I don't know. Because it's not like it's like, oh, it wouldn't be fair. I could just go steamroll through the bosses. Yeah, you could. You could. Why don't you want that? All your friends are going to do that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's see. What else? The world seed. The world seed. I mean, you can just guess what that is. I understand. It's, it's just the basics for a VR MMO. Okay. But it it, but it like all the VR MMOs together. Yeah, I know. But like... <laughs> It was like, oh, it's been a few months and all these new ones are coming up. No. They you don't make v VR MMOs that quickly. I'm I'm pretty sure people have been working on them already and they see this seed come through and a way to link it with other ones and No, because the seed was how they made them in the first place. It said hmm. that. I swear it said something along the lines I, of I don't know about that. The seeds were used to were used to make them. Also, I I had to after episode twenty five as I always do, go listen to episode one in the English dub. Oh no, I didn't. I don't do that. I hate it. <laughs> I hate the voices. Do you? They sound awful. Are we talking like Dragon Ball level? What do you mean <laughs> Dragon Ball level? Oh wait, no, that's opposite. Never mind. Did you? Goku's voice in Japanese is, is... It sounds weird, but you get used to it. Yeah. Um, I'm talking like... God, what had a... I don't know what had a really bad one now. But it was like... I swear, I probably don't remember these correctly now, but I swear Kirito's was like almost high-pitched. And I was just like, no. I can't, I can't do this. God. Like, I heard, I heard his English voice actor, and I was like... I no. mean, he's not doing anything wrong, but that's not the voice that this person should have. Yeah. That always yeah. happens. I just looked at Kirito's uh, Japanese voice actor, and I just re I realized uh, some of the characters that they play, mm -hmm. and I recognized them. I can hear that voice. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, anything you've got to say about this? Um... There's a thing where there's just a... There's rape is a, a big thing. Like, there's just some weird people. What? Okay, what do you mean? Like, okay, so you know how on that... One of the last episodes... How he just strips uh, Asuna? Yeah! Yeah, that's a, that's a continued thing. Excuse me? 
just people like that. Yeah. You, you uh, can't see my eyes, but my eyes are like... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's only a couple characters, but there's like one in every season. God damn it. Yeah, it's it sucks. Why? Yeah, I don't know. Why does it continue? I don't know. It's not necessary. It's really not necessary. Why you gotta keep... Ki it's like kidnapping Princess Peach over and over again. Why do you gotta keep yeah. kidnapping Asuna? <laughs> And why did Austin not actually do anything on screen, really? Uh, she had that cool moment in the beginning. Yeah. She's the lightning flash, dude. Yeah. And she showed off that one time. D yeah. She's she's just... Kirito was like, oh man, I could never match her speed. But we, like, never saw her doing anything much faster than he could have done if he would have had a lighter weapon. Yeah. Like, he purposely was choosing these heavy weapons. Like, no. No. Yeah. And that's why she was the vice commander person. Because... And not... Well, the commander was the, the game Yeah, the game guy. Commander. That's, what, but that's but... why she was the vice commander, because he was probably like, yes, power cup one. <laughs> power cup <laughs> Yes, power cup <couple. laughs> Um... What else do we have? Mm -hmm. Going uh, going through these things in my head. <laughs> Walking down the hallway. Um, God, was there anything else in SAO? Not really. I think we've gone. What over was the What was the the differentiation like? How would you go from green to orange? Uh, so orange, orange is if red. you injure someone. Red is if you kill them. Okay. Kirito definitely injured some people. Uh, but they said orange lasts for a day or a couple days. Then you go back to green. Mm. Um, but I think it's like injuring them without cause. I like see. if they attack you first, you, of course you can do that or, you know. And then... They they had a prison to keep the the red players, but like, did they yeah. ever let the red players back out? I don't know. Because, and if that they did, like, only mentioned like once. I, the prison so... was only mentioned like once. Yeah. And the, and the orange guilds, like the guilds of all the people who are orange that like attacking people with the one green person, were only mentioned that one time. Yeah, they weren't laughing coffin, huh? No, they were someone else. They were someone else entirely. I only remember Laughing Coffin because they keep coming up. God <laughs> damn it. Um, yeah. La and then Laughing Coffin didn't even come up that much in season one. They came up. No. They were the people who committed the murder. Mm -hmm. They came up. They were the one guy. It was the. The, the, the guy who, who was Asuna's bodyguard. Uh-huh. And that's like. I it. hate him. I hated him from the start. He was just annoying. Did he come back? No, he's dead. Oh, you yeah. watched Kirito yeah, shove his point. hand through his chest. You watched him get donated like it was JoJo. Um, and and that just makes me think. Like, shouldn't Kirito have gotten a red thing because it's they said for killing another player. So shouldn't yeah. have he had a red diamond above what his head? I think. Red is more murder and not self-defense. That wasn't... Th the murder was not in self-defense. It was. He was going to kill Kirito. He'd already attacked Kirito. Yeah, but he did a lot to him before he killing him. Red, he was also a red player. No, he wasn't. Oh, yeah, yeah he, he was. was. He because killed he that guy. just killed the other guy, yeah. <laughs> I programmed no way to get through the paralysis, the paralysis potion, or the paralysis effect. Mm -hmm. Asuna getting up. <laughs> Kirito, who <laughs> probably could have gotten up. Yeah. Like, I programmed no way to live after death. But Kirito just decides, nah, <laughs> nah. I'm not gonna die. And what if there was, like, that one person who happened to be wearing something that protects them from the microwaves? 
And they, like, get up after they die in SAO, and they were like, huh, you don't actually die when you're killed. <laughs> but, it's, but it's sent to your brain. Okay, and then another thing beyond that would be, does that mean it destroys the game cartridge too? I don't know. Because if it doesn't destroy the game cartridge, couldn't they just be sending more people in? Well, there's only a certain amount. Yeah, there's only... And I'm sure no one would want to go in. But you'd, but... you'd have to think some people would. Probably. But, so thinking about it, they never said it, and they've really made this confusing to me. There was 1,000 beta testers, mm -hmm. and those beta testers owned a copy of a game, and they could use that copy to get in. Yeah. So shouldn't there have been 11,000 copies? I think they released 9,000 copies. No, they released 10,000. I don't know. They said I they really released 10,000. So that makes me think there would be 11,000 people, but they kept referring to the number as 10,000. Mm -hmm. And Kirito, or whatever the hell his actual name was, definitely <laughs> didn't buy a copy that first day. No, he didn't. So that beta works. Yeah. So does that just... And also with the 10,000 people... You think everyone came home the first day it came out and went and played it? Like, oh, no. wouldn't there be the collectors who got it just to put it on their shelf? Yeah, they're like, oh, there's only 10,000 of these. I'll yeah, like, attention. there shouldn't have been that many people in the game on that first day. Yeah. And it shouldn't and have taken they're... them that long to realize they couldn't log out. <laughs> yeah. And what, like... The first person we see, oh, we can't log out, instantly gets teleported to to the thing. Yeah. You know. Or someone had to have noticed before then and just been like... Okay, oh, no, they did it's... notice before then, because he, he said... Yeah. He said something, he but said, why did it take both of them so long? Bug. I don't know. I guess they wanted people just to get comfy. Ah, uh, yes, get comfy in your uh, slowly going insane ways. And you you know it's hard to to get people's attention when something just started. <laughs> Even if you trap them, they're not gonna pay attention. They're gonna be like, "Oh, what's this in my inventory? What's this? What's this stat? What does this thing do? It's this thing." And and why did the like no one leave that first town uh, up until like that announcement? Like you had to think there was beta testers that would have left. I don't know. Come on, man. What about the speed runners? <laughs> oh, the beta test speed runners. God. Man, the... I'm gonna make it up back up to floor three in a day. Easy. Easy. Dies. Dies. Yeah. Actually Why dies. And I respawn. <laughs> <laughs> you see the you died the you died message appear in front of you and it just says <laughs> goodbye. And you're like, oh, I'm logged out of the game, and you just die. Just die. That's that's how everything works. Okay. Intercepting the signals of the people who are trying to log out in the Elfheim. He mm -hmm. should have seen Kirito logging out and logging back in. Yeah. Like, I don't even care if he thought that was another person. He should have seen that and been like, and that person's not allowed to log out anymore. Yeah. <laughs> not allowed to log back in either. <laughs> and why did the old nerve gear work? He just said straight up, um, uh, oh yeah, it's cross compatible. It, yeah, it's cross compatible. <laughs> it just has, the new one just has more security. Yeah. But they're made by two different companies. Yeah. And the, the original guy definitely didn't release his source code for that thing. Like, they had to reverse engineer that. Yeah. How'd they do that? I don't know. <laughs> Why would they do that? I don't know. Like, who would play, after the first death game, who would play one of those games? Because it only took two to destroy the entire faith in the, the stupid thing until the world seed was released. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Oh, and then uh, the dude who uh, took all of that pain in the virtual game and then still got up and still managed to get a knife and get to that hospital before Kirito. <laughs> yeah. No. 
What about I don't the care. Sugar? I don't care if that was all mental. That you you got cut in you half. So injured, yeah. Like what about hmm. what about the whole illusion magic? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna turn into this giant ma monster. But and it's he was not an actually illusion. a giant monster. He's actually a giant monster. I don't understand. I don't get it. <laughs> and he only used magic like twice. Yeah. He could have he could have used that stupid monster transformation again to get up through all those robots. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. That were just, infinitely it, spawning. That was stupid. They were just that, infinitely spawning. Oh well, yeah, you're not supposed to get through that. Okay. But it showed that he could be revived from that little spirit form. They could have just kept sending groups of people in. You get yeah. like a hundred people throwing themselves at that with all the healers in the back. And you've got that. You, you I could... mean, that's kind of what they did. <laughs> Honestly, though. But why did they never do that before? Oh, uh, they didn't have the... the Salamanders uh, could have done it. They said that they didn't have something, but they were gearing up to do it. Like, okay. they didn't have enough armor or something. And then, how did the money convert? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure he used, like, he used the same source and stuff. Like, the same source code. And he just probably changed the name of it. But yeah, but then he should have the, had more than 100,000 or whatever he gave to them. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he did. <laughs> but he didn't say it like that. But he also bought a sword and armor and stuff. Where's my where's my butt? Mm. Okay. Anyway, so what uh would you give it? What I gave it a rating? seven. It didn't do anything special. I gave it a nine because I really Yeah, no, it. I saw you gave it a nine and I looked at the number and I was like Excuse me. I, I was debating an eight. I'm still debating an eight. But I really liked it. Mm. <laughs> Actually, I'll, I'll give it an eight because it—you're right. It didn't do something that others haven't, you know. Yeah, like what special thing did it do? Mm, it was the first kind of MMO type thing. But no, it was in—it was in an era of isekai. Yeah, that's true. It didn't do anything. It—it it had um. Nothing, really. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it an 8. There you go. There you go. It's... Anyway. Thank... Thank... Would... Yeah. Thanks for watching. Mm. It's... We already have gone longer than normal. No, we haven't. Yeah, we have. Normally we normally do to... 51 minutes. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. You can look back. They are normally 51 minutes. Anything else you have to say? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be watching the fourth season. Oh yeah, what? Oh what's yeah, the next, next thing? week. Yeah. Uh, next week is uh Blue Exorcist. So okay. Yeah. So it's all of season one. Yeah, season one. Jesus, twenty-five episodes. That's not hard. This was yeah. This was twenty-five episodes. Are you actually gonna watch this one? I'll watch a recap. Honestly, <laughs> why do you? Do I, this? I I watched it not too long ago. Oh, I watched I see. it after Seven Deadly Sins. So. Fine then. Ten. Nine. Eight. eight seven, seven. Six. six five. five.